So today is another very good day because it is PCB Way delivery day. This is the latest board that was just delivered to me. It arrived uh, 18 days after submitting the final design, so that's 1-8 days. Very quick as usual. The work looks extremely neat. I've had a little look over this board already under the microscope and I've also done a continuity test just to make sure everything is fine. As you can see, it's mostly surface mount technology this time, apart from the connectors. This goes into the back plane, obviously, and these are the two output layer pixel headers, and then these are the two pairs of input pixel headers. So this video combination board will take up to two, uh, up, up to four different layers and output those pairs of layers combined with each other with various different mathematical operations. So let's plug it into the hardware and let's see if it works. So after testing and visually inspecting the board from PCBWay, I have added the board to the board backplane stuck up here. So the outputs from the two sprite board so this is the scale sprite board this is the normal sprite board those two pixel out layer outputs from here and here go into the, the side here on the top edge as it is at the moment of the combination board and the combination board output then goes all the way to pixel header the second pixel header here which is zero one two and three so the second pixel header here so the first pixel header, which is pixel header zero, goes into the vectors board here, which is hiding away under here, underneath the, the bodge board for the for the back for the back back plane cover. Anyway, so this is the board stack as it currently stands. So here we are after testing the boards and inserting the boards into the back plane. So this is the demo that sh I should see when I run with the new hardware layer to explain what's happening here. So the normal default uh, video hardware boot loader code uh, displays some characters here, some tiles here, and it displays sprites and scale sprites. These are sprites here, and then the scale sprites are here. Now, the combination layer adds the ability to, to combine two different pixel input layers into one with different mathematical operations, XOR and OR, and a proper transparency test. But it also adds the option to XOR the output pixel and also include pixel dithering. Now this is why you see these dots here. I've, I've enabled the pixel dithering for this merged combination layer. Now the other layer that should be active that we should see in the hardware is that we can see the vectors. So the vectors should be in front because in the configuration for this test, I've, I've changed the configuration for the test. So that layer zero, the frontmost layer, is the vector board, which is the RLE screen display layer. And then we have a two to one merge layer, which comprises of the scaled sprites and the normal sprites. And then the other two layers, which are the characters and the tiles, stay the same. So that's how I've configured this test. I've configured the test to be the same as the hardware configuration that I'm expecting to test. So let's turn it on and see what we get. So if I turn it on, that's a good first sign. It means that nothing too much seems to be broken. If I turn on the Commodore 64 and then I run with easy transfer the compiled or the assembled code rather so we'll pick the assembled code build there and then we just click go and then we'll see what we get the Commodore 64 wow isn't that fantastic well it's worked first time again thank you very much PCB Wave for delivering a board which works first time now this time the board was delivered within I think 18 days one eight days of me submitting the final design file. So again, a very fast 
accurate turnaround from PCB way to deliver a fully working board that doesn't need any extra bodges or anything like that. And you can see that the only thing that's really different here is that I think uh, I may have a difference in my output dither pattern compared to uh, the, the pattern here. This might be because the emulation is not exactly matching up with the uh, the hardware emulation. So the, the, yeah, I think the dither pattern is a little bit inconsistent, but that's okay. I mean, the dither pattern, I can tweak the dither pattern in the emulation to be the same as the observed dither pattern on the hardware. So that's perfectly fine, no problem at all. It just means that the emulation here has slightly different logic compared to the logic that I thought I was designing in, in the hardware, but uh, basically it's working fine. So we can see that the sprites here, the, the, the 16 by 16 pixel and the 32 by 32 pixel sprites here are merged together with the layer for the scaled sprites. The scaled sprite is this pretty big long line here of scaled sprite data that I use to actually debug the scale sprite hardware. Uh, the, two scale, the two sprites layers have been merged together with dithering exactly how the emulation is expecting it to and exa exactly how the code is set up to do it. And of course the vectors layer is still working. The vectors layer displays uh, the spaceship the same as the emulation. It's just that the emulation has a faster CPU core than the 6502 which is driving this from my trusty old Commodore 64. But yeah, thank you very much, very much indebted to PCBWay for delivering a fantastic working board first time. So if you like these kind of crazy electronics or retro electronics videos, then please do consider liking or subscribing to my channel so I know that you like what I do and then I will try and produce more content along these lines. Have a great day wherever you are.